All right, so welcome back to another BTD6 video. And today we're gonna be checking out the newest Paragon in BTD6, the Wizard Paragon, all right? And I'm so excited for this because Wizard is such a cool tower already. And it's arguably one of the coolest looking towers in the game, right? It's so flamboyant. We have fire and magic and ghost balloons. Um, we have Magus Perfectus here, which should in theory combine all three. We can see this giant bird in the background already. Um, but we're gonna be getting this today, all right? And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a degree 100 um, Wizard Paragon and see how long it lasts. And then we'll pop in the challenge browser and showcase a degree 100 wizard paragon which i'm so excited for it's gonna look so cool here so thank you so much to ninja kiwi for letting me showcase this and really quick let's read the description we have magus perfectus only the most perfect wizard can channel the ancient powers of the beyond. Ooh. On top of that, we're on the newest map in the game, Erosion, all right? It's an advanced map right here. You can kind of see maybe like hints of northern lights in the upper right. See how it's like moving? That's cool. Look at this. Additionally, we have a polar bear right here. We're going to try and click the polar bear. You can try and click around. It doesn't look like we can remove obstacles or anything. I am clicking all over the place here. It'd be really weird for the map to only be in the lower left. So the map will likely change. It's going to be really interesting. I guess it's going to erode, right? Anyway, we're just going to start by playing Erosion and just building up for money and then we're gonna buy wizard paragon and just see how well it does right here right so we're gonna start with quincy here we go and we'll just start off here we see the maps coming from the, the balloons coming from the left here so right off the bat the map does not seem to be changing here it seems like we're doing pretty well here we could go for a wizard and stuff i do want to get oh, look at the polar bear has no hitbox that's weird. We can place like a wizard inside the polar bear. Additionally, it looks like we have a bunch of cash drops on this account for some reason. So like, don't, don't mind if I do really quick. You know what I mean? All right. So it looks like you can't place towers on these lines here, but you can place them in between. So these lines are definitely paths of some sort. And this is an advanced map. It probably does change. I know some people are watching this like, wow, you're such a detective and stuff. Yeah, I, I know. I know it's probably like, yeah. Okay. The map is still not changing, which is really, really interesting. It's not eroding at all. It looks like you can place towers in this upper right portion right here, but you can't place them like on this little ledge right here but it's not like a line of sight blocker. Oh, oh, is it round 18? <laughs> we just lost Quincy. Okay, so let's, I guess our tower is not safe if you place them here. Is all this ice gonna disappear eventually? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I nearly missed that. I was just like, like blinked for a second and suddenly like everything's gone. Good thing we have this boat right here, I guess. Um, so I assume the map slowly becomes water, which means this might be one of the best water maps in the game. Although the pathing is really, really short on this map. I think it happened around 18. So like every 18 rounds, maybe let's get some cam protection here. There we go. We'll continue to farm here, but this is crazy. Um, so it sells your towers, um, which means there is a way to sell in chimps actually then, I guess. Assuming we got our money back. I think we got our money back and we didn't just lose them because we do have Quincy now. That's interesting. There might be a way to sell in chimps here. I'm sorry, like I didn't. I, I should like just like pause the video and like like see if we actually got um it sold or not. But like I'm too lazy. Well, we gotta farm before all our farming space is gone because if all this stuff disappears, we're only gonna have like oh you can't even place a farm up here. So we're gonna have zero farming space besides pontoons. I feel like as a YouTuber, sometimes I want to make things like really intense, right? So I want to be like, oh my gosh, guys, we got we gotta go quickly before all our farm space is gone. But like I don't know, we'll just get pontoons, right? Like. <laughs> I really like this. This I feel like it's really difficult to pull out like there's like what 70 maps in BTD6 and I feel like it's really difficult making them unique, right? Both in terms of pathing, but also like theming and like mechanics and stuff. And, and you know, Ninja Kiwi still got it. And they're doing really good. <gasps> Look at that. It's every 18 rounds. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Quincy is gone next. So actually, let we want to be moving our towers to the right here if possible. So let's get up a heli pilot. This is kind of funny and kind of unnecessary. Um, you can't even place a heli pilot up here. Okay, so we're gonna go for a heli pilot here and we're gonna move Quincy to the right here. So Quincy, we don't lose Quincy. And look at the poor polar bear. The poor polar bear is like losing ice. Oh, it's so, it's, it's like, it's like global warming and stuff. Anyway, we got a farm here before all our farming space is gone actually though, cause I wanna try and avoid buying a bunch of pontoons. We only have four pontoons anyway. Um, victory there we go beautiful continue so we know the next round that things disappear on will be round 54 based on the current rate so we gotta watch out around 54 we're doing really good money wise in fact let's try and farm up a ton here because we want to get as much money as we can while we still have a bunch of land um because all we have to do is afford the wizard paragon once we can afford it we're good this is kind of a weird map to showcase wizard paragon on because you literally like there's like no land space anymore so we're definitely going to use a uh, pontoon here look at this this map's a straight line that's so weird that's crazy i think honestly 
actually, let's just place a bunch of snipers in this right side here just to make sure we don't lose anytime soon. So we're just gonna go for you. We'll set you on strong right here. We'll go for a nice village as well. If we can place one even, let's go for village. Beautiful. We'll just go for like home and defense. We have so much money to work with right now. It's not really a problem. The thing is we just need to make sure that we get to um, 600K here. So we'll go for elite sniper as well. And that should last for quite a while with like all those snipers right there. So hopefully that's good. And now we just gotta farm. We just gotta try and hover and just collect all these bananas here and get a wizard paragon. And we wanna get a wizard paragon before it's too late because sometimes like with paragon videos you get up the paragon on like round like 150 and by that point the paragon's like it's the blooms are so strong that the paragon looks a lot weaker and it's not as like cool right we want to get it up as soon as possible here so let's hopefully do this if we do sell everything here though we should be able to get like a lot of money so i think once we get like $550,000 or $500,000 we should be able to sell everything for the wizard paragon although we do need to buy the tier 5 so maybe not oh there we go round 54 um i think that did sell we have a lot more money than we did normally. So that, I'm pretty sure they do sell. Oh, look at the polar bear. Oh man, I feel this, that's that's like interesting. That's really cool that they did that, honestly. You know, like raise awareness. <gasps> we have so much money. Let's just get it up. Let's just get it up. There's no, there's no reason to hesitate here. Sell, 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 sell. Beautiful. And we have $785,000. That should be enough. We got to make sure that we don't, we're not, we don't lose the wizard paragon as we're placing it down. So in fact, let's just place down a pontoon now directly in... It's kind of weird because the balloons are going to start coming up top here. So maybe we should place it a little bit more right. We'll just place it right there. We'll go for a nice wizard in the middle. And we're just going to get up a nice degree one wizard pair around here. So we'll do wizard, wizard. We'll go for top path, middle path, bottom path. And here we go. Magnus Perfectus. And let's sell. We'll sell everything else in a little bit. Um, so we'll go for Magnus Perfectus here. Upgrade to Paragon. Here we go. It should be degree one. Oh my gosh. Look how big the bird is. Okay. Sell everything else. Sell everything. Be gone. I'm sorry, Quincy. <laughs> Look at this. Look how big that is. Look at the shadow balls. Oh my gosh. We have camp party. What is this? Oh, there's two abilities. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to test this out in the challenge browser for sure here. Um, so first of all, we do have a ghost mechanic here. So they are combining all tier fives here. Um, we're gonna have to figure this out here. This is interesting. We've got a little like treadmill thing here. Um, this thing does have global range, which is really, really cool. Just like Wizard Lord Phoenix. Um, first, last, close, strong, beautiful. All right, so we have our first ability here, and I assume it uses up some of the ghost pops here. But let's just use it here. And see. The problem is the balloons are so weak right now. Like, we're in round 64. Like, there's literally just Moabs and BFEs and stuff. And so we might not even be able to see the ability here. We're going to use the ability for the first time here and just see what happens here, right? Boom. There we go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <gasps> look at that and it goes on multiple paths i wonder if it has to be in range of the wizard <gasps> look at the attack look at the attack right here and the, the phoenix did go down there <gasps> oh it might have changed form or something look at it so we did use up all the balloons so this bar fills up and then once it fills up then you can use it and summon a bunch of ghost cmgs look at its attack that is so cool looking oh my gosh i feel like it's so difficult to be like original with the paragons i know already, we already talked about that with the maps a little bit but oh that's such a cool attack right there it's so cool looking it's so clean look at the bird i assume the bird's on cooldown now we have this ability now um and i think this is the same ghost ability here so we're gonna click it again and we should summon more ghost moons look at that that's so cool looking and so it looks like there's less cmgs based on like because there's less um ghost pops right and so the more the bar is the more ghost balloons that spawn you guys get it um <laughs> look at this look at the, the model we can't even see him facing forward so we'll place him down on a different map um to showcase him but look at that that's so cool right there we also have this ability right here which i assume maybe there's two different forms of the wizard and we'll switch back to the bird form here so i'm going to click this switch back to the bird form right here and it looks like we absorb the bird now so there's no more bird now oh we switched the attack look at that it's like a giant dragon's breath now no it's not <laughs> it is temporary i don't i don't understand get it yet um but that's so cool here so we have the zmgs right here we know that at the very least and we still have to figure out what this other button does um and i feel like now there's not really like a guy like how do we have to figure it out you know there's not really something explaining it which i know seems a little bit confusing but i feel like it's so cool to discover things on your own and check them out now we also have this button right here and buttons right here are really interesting they're usually reserved for like targeting so we're gonna click this button right here and just see what it does but you look at this button it's like it's going up you see this like animation that's going up um, and we can't click it now. Can we? Does this cap the pops and so it stops absorbing pops? We, it's, a, it's an on-off button. 
the map goes down even more. The polar bear. I hope the polar bear goes, goes up on the ice and like, you know, it doesn't have to like swim um, and stuff in the cold water. Although I guess, anyway, let's go for this again. I guess we're just going to try and figure this out here. It does have pretty good range. Look at the, it has a nice wall of fire right there. Um, it looks like it just switches it, its attack temporarily. Um, to fire. So I assume it's kind of like a little bit like a tower boost in a sense. Um, we're also gonna click this button and see what happens. I have no idea what that does. Oh, look at this. It turns off and on. So we're still absorbing ghost balloons, but it looks like the, the phoenix changes. So the phoenix is spitting out a bunch of stuff right now, a bunch of fireballs. Um, and then we change it. The bird goes off. Oh, so the, the uh, I'm sorry, you guys see this. I'm sure you guys have seen this watching it, but like as a YouTuber, I'm, I'm trying to like commentate and figure this out and stuff. And I guess it's not that hard. Anyway, so it switches the attack, all right? I'm sure about you guys saw that. Ooh, look at the bar fill up a lot really quickly there. Uh, so we can kind of switch the attack, the mode of the wizard here, which is really interesting. And I like how they're doing that. I like how like we that like engineer paragon. Actually, no, we have seven paragons now because we engineer paragon. We have so many paragons now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't notice this before, but when you turn, when you have the bird on, it uses up the, the graveyard pops, right? You see how the number's going down here? Like, I did not see that genuinely, right? And so once you're full, you genuinely, you probably want to get rid of some of the pops. Either way, you don't want to just sit at max pops, right? You don't want to sit at 10 elixir. Let's just summon more ZMGs though, because that's fun. So if we summon a bunch of ZMGs here, look at that. The bird actually goes away right here, right? And so the bird is turned off here. And the question is, what happens when you reach zero pops when the bird is active? Um, I don't even know how to use this. I feel like there's so many options here and, and everything's doing so much damage. It's like, you can't, we can't even see like how powerful one thing is compared to another, right? Oh, oh, the polar bear. Look at that. Oh, the map goes to the upper right and I assume it cycles. Look at that. Look how small the map is right here now. The poor polar bear. Oh, we got to make the polar bear house. Yo, polar bear. Here's a, here's a nice, nice, <laughs> nice house. Oh, that's like, so it's like, it's like sad in a way, right? But, um, that's, that's really, I, th I think it's a cool mechanic. Anyway, goes down to zero. The bird automatically turns off when you go down to zero. Um, and then you can turn it back on. Game over. We actually lose right there because we don't have the bird on and the range is actually so difficult right there. Anyway, we defeat that. We have an insta monkey beast handler. And then now just very briefly, we're going to be getting up a degree 100 wizard paragon and just seeing how cool it looks. All right, so it's now past round 100. Surely this is enough here. We got a ton of totems and stuff. We're going to upgrade to Magius Perfectus here. Please be 100. Please. 87. Oh, look at the bird though. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool. Oh my gosh. I guess we got to keep going though. All right, I'm pretty sure this is it. All right, we should have enough totems at this point. Degree 100 Magnus Perfectus right here. Let's do it. Boom. Come on. Oh, there we go. Look at it. Oh, too bad it's turned around. Maybe we should have placed it higher up. That's okay. We're going to sell Geraldo and the village right there. Um, Look at the bird. Wow. Oh, can we switch? We can't switch like when it's not in the middle of the round. Oh my gosh. Look at the bird. It's spiraling. Oh my gosh. It's like curveball in Brawl Stars. Look at the flame particles. Oh my gosh. Look at the middle. That's actually sick. That's actually so sick. Look at the hat. Just the hat. It's, it's, oh my gosh. There's like circles orbiting the hat. Oh my gosh. Are you guys ready? Degree 100 Paragon ability. Boom. Look at the ZMGs. I think that looks pretty gosh darn similar right there. Look at that. And they go down to BFBs right there. Oh my gosh. This is just so cool looking. It's so cool. Let's use the other thing here. We're going to switch forms here. Come on, birds down. Look at this. It's shooting rays of wall of fire. Oh my gosh. That doesn't last very long right there. That must be pretty gosh darn powerful. Um, oh my gosh. Just the bird is so cool. <laughs> Everything is so cool here. But there we go. Degree 100. Wizard Paragon right there. That would last a long time here. And the challenge browser, we only set it to 134 here. This thing would last a long time here. We definitely got to try and get like all seven paragons in one match. But it's just, it's going to last forever, unfortunately. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. Hope you have a beautiful day and be sure to brush your teeth.